There's uh, I didn't get the hello yeah, everyone. Yeah. Park, put it in As there usual, and then really come on, on to check it. Hey, hi, hi folks. Welcome to our Thursday night live, live at the class. This is our 24th Purple Heart workshop, Purple Heart slash Training the Hand. So we did our, we did our first half on Saturday. So these guys, these people are working on their bench hook. I'll show you what that is. So what's this cost? It's an exercise. Oh yeah, your wives might be watching it. So it's made out of pine and walnut. They process all the lumber entirely with hand tools, both the piece of pine and the piece of walnut, and then they cut the dovetails in it, and you use it on your bench when you're sawing so that you don't end up cutting into your bench. If you had a piece of lumber, a piece of uh, wood to cut, you would set that on your bench amongst all these wires. Just so they understand the gravity of what you're saying, do they know what you mean by processing? They, 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 can't, they can't hear you if you don't have the mic right up. You have a piece of wood in here and you saw and you drop into your bench hook instead of dropping into your bench. Anyway, they'll probably never never use, never use do it because they don't want to. I was going to say. Wait a minute, hold on a minute. I can't hear you. Okay. Introduce yourself, Spence. Oh. Howdy, I'm Spencer Wintermark, and I'm here from Texas. Combat wounded vet. Yes. Uh, uh, Marine. I was in the Marines, yes. Want to say a shout out to Jesse? Oh, I don't know if he's watching, but he Jesse, promised. I really appreciate you uh, recommending this class to me. It's been a great deal of fun so far, and I've learned a lot. I never thought I could take this board and turn it into something uh, like, like this, which has been pretty phenomenal. Sorry, I know the yeah, microphone. Yeah, it's really bad. Mike. Um, but it's been a lot of fun, and I think that I'll be able to put a lot of time and focus into something that's productive rather than harmful, I would say. So it's very, very uh, fun. encouraging for me to be able to do all this stuff. But that's it. I just wanted to point out that processing wood was it's a lot more complicated than... Maybe they didn't understand. Well, then running it over a joiner and send it through a thickness planer. Yes. Fine we do it the 1850 way. Yes. I'll be over to visit you, and we'll check out your work. So we have some dignitaries here tonight. <coughs> we have Sir Moose. Moose on the loose. The purveyor of the uh, infamous dead cat sweater. And we have retired Colonel Luther Sheely. Howdy. <coughs> here once again. And behind the camera, we have Irvin, because Jake is away. So what I thought I'd do, well, let me explain a little bit more. So in case you're tuning in for the first time, we use these opportunities to uh, fundraise to run our program. It costs us somewhere around $350,000 a year to do this. We, uh, we do six classes a year, uh, 14 in each class, seven wounded vets, seven paying customers. Um, we bring them in on Sunday, fly them in from all over the world. Last, last class we had, a, we had uh, Tony from Australia. Uh, we take care of their lodging, we feed them. Each vet goes home with, in US dollars, about $4,000 worth of premium tools, same stuff that I use. And uh, we're gonna make a big deal about this tonight, but we also have an organization called the Bench Brigade that'll build them a bench and deliver it to their home so that when they go home, they can actually set up a little shop. So they can take the training they've received here and uh, continue to use it as their medicine, if that's what it does for them. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm here to answer questions, although tonight we're probably going to spend most of our time talking to these guys. If you would like to donate and help support this, you can do so by going to thepurpleheartproject.org. It's all on there. Can they still do it through the Rob, or robcosman.com under the uh, PHP banner? We are a registered 501c3 in the United States. We're working on the equivalent in Canada to be announced. And uh, I'm just going to wander around. We're going to have a look at where they are. <coughs> I'll give you a, a quick brief. I had a cold given to me by Jake. <coughs> and I've managed to spread it to others. So we're all fighting through this sickness. 
Anyway, Monday we spent sharpening. Tuesday we spent learning to cut through dovetails. Wednesday we spent processing or dimensioning lumber. So that's, as Spencer told you, we take a rough piece of lumber and make it flat, smooth, and square on all six surfaces with just hand tools. So that means using a uh, scrub plane to start with, a uh, uh, number five and a half or a six jack plane. And <coughs> we use winding sticks to verify, <coughs> excuse me, that things are flat. And then of course from there we use squares and straight edges. And they, they do a really good job. Let's go over on this side. So when I come around, if you want to show off your best joint, this is Shane. Shane, I hate to make you stick this in your face, but in oh, order man. for them to pick it up, it has to be fairly close. So start off by showing me your best joint. My best joint? Your best know. best one to date. If you look from a distance, that one looks pretty good. Oh, that was your best one? Let's not zoom in. <laughs> we can't keep them from doing that at home. Okay. <laughs> How, uh, let's have a look at that. That actually is pretty good. Or we can have go you done this before? I have done a couple before. You've done a couple before? But, uh, so look at that. Your new techniques are quite different. So. Oh yeah, Shane and I first met when I used to do the wood show circuit in Canada and at a Ottawa wood show, which was pre-2010, because that's yeah, when they all died. 2003, maybe 2004. Oh, way back when. Yeah, way oh, back right, when well, Lee yep. Nelson days, so yep. that ended in 2000 and uh, Rob sold me this tool 20 years ago, and 20 years later, he's showing me how to use it. So well, <laughs> I'm a little behind. <laughs> um, sorry. What did I also want to ask you? Oh, we haven't done mortise and tenon yet. No. Nope. Tell, uh, did anybody want to say hello to? Uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> hello, everybody? <laughs> yeah. Get real specific, huh? Yeah. I have nobody live. Say hello to Luther. Luther. <laughs> no, Hi, no. Luther. <laughs> Ta uh, just take three minutes and tell them your overall experience. That's, that would be the best thing to do. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Well, you have I, to hold this up fairly close. I weren't quite. I wasn't quite sure what my expectations were, but it's uh, it's been really time well spent. Um, my objective was to try to make a beautiful shaving feather thin from a planer, and I've been able to do that with a little bit of instruction and help from Rob. Um, yeah, no, I've really uh, in, enjoyed the experience and uh, learning new techniques. It's one thing to uh, that's what, that was my goal. There it is. Honey, I'm bringing this home. This is where I spent my allowance. Um, yeah, no time, excellent time well spent and an interesting group of people to spend a week with too. And uh, Rob and his family and his staff really have made us feel comfortable and at home and the food is extraordinary. It's, a, it's been a great week, kind of a vacation week. And Luther's been tolerable. He's been on good behavior. <laughs> tolerable. That's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, where are we going to go next? Poor Mark. I gave Mark my, my, uh, my cold. Yeah, oh yeah. But Jake gave it to me, and I was just passing it on. Oh, well, I guess there's got to be some repercussions oh. for that. <laughs> um, Tell them who we are. Uh, well, my name is Mark Kroll. Uh, I'm a 20-year um, Air Force veteran, um, uh, currently living in Columbia, South Carolina, teaching JROTC at Irmo High School. So, Anybody say hi to? Yeah, I want to say hi to my, uh, my wife, Kim. Uh, just celebrated 22 years of, of uh, marriage. Bliss. And thank you. Thank you. And then uh, also to my three kids, Chase, Braden, and Piper. Uh, I know they're probably having a lot of fun there visiting, uh, visiting California. And then my mom out there in Texas, uh, Julie. So how's it been? Well, uh, to be honest with you, I had no idea what to expect coming up here. I've never, I've never worked with hand tools. Uh, so this was my first experience with all of this, and it has been a phenomenal experience. Tell, tell them what, you're, what it was like on Monday morning when you got to use a really sharp hand plane for the first time. Um, well, you can kind of see uh, what it was like <laughs> to use a really sharp hand plane. I have, I have a, well, not on this hand, but I have a couple of cuts as a result of learning how to use sharpened tools uh, the way they're supposed to be sharpened, right? So, um, no, it's, it's been a phenomenal experience. I've really, um, I've enjoyed it. Um, it's gotten me uh, an opportunity to dive into a different part of woodworking that 
uh, I've never had an opportunity to get into. And I just want to thank Rob and his family for hosting this. And of course, Luther for um, doing all the work he does to get us here. So, um, you know, please, please, please donate uh, because this is, this is huge to us, us veterans. Um, and if you are a veteran, um, served in a combat area and, and are still feeling the difficulties that result from, from those actions, um, please go to the website, check it out. This could be something that would completely ground you and change your life. So never used hand tools before. and Never at all. In the time that he's been here, this is his second dovetail. So if you want to, you want to have a close look at that, I'll turn on both sides. And that's pretty remarkable. Yeah. But thank you very much. This has been a great experience. My pleasure. I'm glad you made it. Yes, thank you. And by the way, for every one that we accept, there's only about three applications. So it's not like we are inundated. So thank you. So the only other Royce I know is a little short chubby fella. Wow, twins. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, Royce, I am a uh, retired Army infantry dude. Um, had a great run out of it. Uh, I started looking at this program. Uh, a friend of mine told me about it and uh, immediately looked into it because woodworking has always kind of been something I've been interested in, but I've had no experience with uh, at the hand tool level. I had done some stuff with, uh, you know, power tools and stuff like that. Um, so I came here, uh, or I got selected, and I came here and I was very apprehensive about the whole thing. I, uh, I'm, I have social anxiety and everything, and it, I was really worried about how things were gonna work out. If you're a vet that kind of feels the same way and you're on the fence about coming here, you should really consider, just go ahead and do it, because you're never gonna feel more like, like you're at home than, than here. They open their house, they put you in great accommodations, they have everything planned to solve whatever problem you're having. Uh, Lucas's lounge right here, somebody having a headache or need some time, some space, it's all here. Uh, and then Rob's family is just like amazing. They're the most accepting people I've probably met probably in my life. Um, and they have, they have dealt with every issue I've had. They've, they've just bent over backwards for me. Uh, and then on to the workshop, it's amazing. Um, I just can't even tell you uh, the amount of experience you get in, in this week is phenomenal. Um, Can you say that again? Phenomenal. Hold on, let me do my crush, okay? So, first I was like, whoa. And then I was like, whoa. And then I was like, whoa. It was so awesome. Like you're just you just learn so much in such a you know, short period of time, and it all works. I think Rob's the way he has designed his course is just perfect. Uh, I don't know anything I would change. Not not that I know anything, but um, Luther change Luther. Yes, I would change Luther. Um, no, and and of course. Uh, yeah, so now I feel like I have to say something about Luther. So Luther is here and he reminds us about food, which is another thing I want to talk about. Uh, I, I've been fed so well here. Um, I think that's... Best is yet to come. I don't know how we can talk. Who are you going to say hello to? Anybody? Uh, so I want to say hello to my wife, Melissa, and my two sons, Dylan and Clay. So, have you ever cut a dovetail before you came here? I have never cut a dovetail. Did you know dovetail. what a dovetail was before you came here? I did. Oh, yeah, and you have relatives that have yep. cabinet shops. So, I've done cabinetry work um, kind of as a shop apprentice. Um, they, my cousins, uh, were, were gr they are great. They're great teachers. They're, they're wonderful, but they use a lot of power tools. Uh, and in the, in the work that they do, they don't do hardly any hand stuff. Um, and then on outside of working with them, um, I had never done anything uh, hand tool other than try to cut stars in a US flag. I, I made a US flag and I tried to cut the stars and I learned that I knew nothing about chisels at that point. Um, 
You said a friend told you about this. Do you remember who it was? And I just can't remember who it was. I, I've, I actually thought about it uh, for a while last night, and I think it was a passing conversation. And If you think, was, yell at me, because yeah. we love to give credit. We send these guys home with a task, and that is we, we, hope, we want them to provide us with the next group of guys that should be here, guys or girls, because they know best who needs it. I want to look at it. So this is his. What one is this? Do you remember? I think that's my second. Second dovetail he cut since he was here. This is pretty remarkable. I told him in the beginning. I said you'll there'll be several dovetails in here that that would rival mine if I can be a standard for the class. But it's been great having you. I'm glad you came. I have. And glad you came. Completely enjoyed it and. Uh, I will support this organization any way I can. Thank you. We appreciate it. So, um, you done? Yeah. All right, back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Mind me to come back to this. We missed a couple of guys. Are these guys missing for a reason? Huh? Bye bye. What's that mean? It means he left. He wants to leave at 8 o'clock. Oh, does he? Oh, oh, okay. He has to go. Oh, right, okay. All right. I don't want to interrupt Dave because he's looking like he's, <laughs> he's pretty deep. I got full concentration on that. <laughs> I don't think tape's going to fix that joint, Dave. <laughs> hey, take that, would you please? <laughs> Dave flies helicopters. Yep. Once used to. Time, yeah, once upon yep. time, so. I hate to do this, but you, yeah, just so that they can okay. make sure they're here. There, there's a, a par, we would call that a partridge. They beat their chest. It's a helicopter. Oh, it's a helicopter. If there's a pilot in the room, he'll let you know that he's a pilot. <laughs> Talk to them. Uh, tell them what you think. Yeah, so, so Introduce far, yourself. Yeah, great program. So I had some experience with uh, some CNC work, some you know, framing, construction, stuff like that, but never hand tools. And uh, it's pretty remarkable what you can learn and how fast you can learn it and what all you can do. So coming in with no experience with hand tools, and this is what, day four? Day four. Day four, Monday, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yep. Yeah, day four already doing uh, various dovetails and building projects and planing wood and getting everything square. It's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty intense. Is this so, your best one? Yeah, so that was actually, yeah, that was the first one. First, first and never done it before. Uh -uh. Yeah, so that was the first first full dovetail or through dovetail on that one. To have a close look. Remarkable work. Mm -hmm. But if you can fly a helicopter, certainly you can cut a dovetail. <laughs> he didn't just fly a any helicopter. He flew. He Fl flew. Uh, uh, flew Apaches. Apaches. Yeah. So Anyone you want to say hi to? Uh, nope. Wife's back home with the with the kids, so she's staying busy. She's probably tuning in tonight. So. You better say hi to her then. I'll be back home on Sunday. <laughs> Prepare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anything else to say about anybody? Luther is the best. At what? He walks around all day, keeps us happy. He's an artillery guy, so he walks around and says, big, big guns go boom. <laughs> and if you're in a tank, never leave the tank. <laughs> Speak to the vets that, uh, that should be here, please. Yeah, so if there's anybody that's, uh, that's combat wounded, that's still struggling, this is a great way to, to, to basically get, a, get outside your mind, use your hands. Um, uh, it's a great coping mechanism. I know I was going through a rough patch, and uh, an alumnus of this program, Danny Bell, reached out to me, and, and you know, he said, I know you're having problems. You do woodworking, too. He's like, and he turned me on to this program, and it's been, it's been great. It's been awesome. So... Um, Danny Bell has sent us a lot. Mm -hmm. Danny does his job well. Yeah. So thanks, Dan. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, with uh, showing up, not expecting all the support that that, uh, that was shown so far. It's, it's just amazing. So between getting the workbench uh, that'll be coming shortly, that's delivered to the house, and the tools, it's, uh, it'll set you up for success. So if you're thinking about putting in for it, put in for it. And uh, yeah. Do good. Peanut butter and jam sandwiches every day. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the food is, the food is actually amazing. So 
Rob's family is awesome. They can cook. I keep telling the cookbook. <laughs> well, Anita's not yeah. family, but she's friend. <laughs> so um, the food is wonderful and it's great because the, the kitchen's right here, so you, you don't even have to leave. Um, you can go straight from your project to food, mingle, uh, network, and then turn right back around and keep working. And, and uh, the girls are great. So a lot of support. So it's been fun. Yeah, it's been fun. Wonderful. So. Glad you came. Thank you. I'm glad Danny did his job and uh, maintained the tradition. Not here? Uh, I think he's still around. This is John. Hi, John Wellens, uh, stationed in Yakima, Washington. I'm actually still on active duty. I'm uh, one of the few remaining tank crewmen left in the Marine Corps. Uh, so I got one, one more year till I retire. I've been in 24 years. Um, and uh, yeah, I came because uh, I found a passion of woodworking a, a few years ago. And uh, I plan on to con continuing that after I retire. And so I wanted to come get the best training I, I possibly could. My Purple Heart experience began a little earlier than most as I was, had the uh, misfortune of traveling here with uh, Luther. <laughs> uh, all the way from Washington, so uh, I got a little bit of pre-Purple uh, Heart project, but uh, no, it was fantastic. Um, he made sure I made it to the airport on time, being, uh, being in the condition I am, so. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm on camera tonight really to talk to those few remaining active duty uh, service personnel. Uh, I know there's probably not a whole lot out there still that are that are combat wounded but if you are and you're interested in in woodworking in any capacity uh, you really need to consider coming I, I was one of the ones that put it off and didn't think that I really deserved to be here necessarily um, but but absolutely uh, I would urge you to to think about it and and, and apply again e even if you don't want to pursue it in the future, I would say give it a try because it's worked for so many others that uh, I think it would serve you well. I mean, all these guys talk about what we're here is how they got out of the service and they didn't, they didn't know what direction they wanted to go and they didn't have, you know, something to tie them down. And I'm fortunate I've already found that that's something. So, uh, but, but if you're that person out there and, and you have any, any doubts, um, Please apply, especially active duty. I made it work, um, so you can too. Um, I have a bunch of loved ones watching right now. Um, Say hello. Yeah, my wife Kimberly, uh, my son Jonathan, and his wife Ashton, and uh, my middle child Keegan, and his wife Aaliyah. Both grandsons are around somewhere probably right now. And uh, my daughter Maggie, who's back home. Um, but yeah, you sh your, your viewership should have gone up this evening for the live. <laughs> by a few, anyway. Yeah, by a few. Um, yeah, so. Well, let's show, so John's probably been the most prolific dovetailer here. And he, it was obvious that he'd done some work before because he was, so this he was is, getting it done. This is my best. This is number two. Second one he did. Yeah. So we have a close look. And I'm most proud of... My, Remarkable, my half by the way. blind. Uh, this is the first half blind I've ever done. First half blind he'd ever cut. So. This is this is his bench hook that's being glued up. Kind of hard to show you that until it's finished. But uh, food, food's been great. The ladies worked their tails off to provide enough enough food for us. Um, the, 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 the standard of cooking for me is high, like I told you. Yeah. Kimberly is a, is a phenomenal cook, so everything's measured to her standards, but they definitely did their best to make me feel at home, that's for sure. Um, like I said, they, they, I admire how much they work, uh, how long they're here and working so hard to feed us. Yep. They put and, in long days. And keep us at the bench. Here before 7 and yep. here off until 9 or 10 at night. Yep, it's great. Everything, yep. Couldn't do it without them. Yeah, everything's great. Hungry. I mean, they've already said it. This place is uh, all you could ask for in a program that to help um, vets uh, who are dealing with issues. So, like I said, just just please, please apply. Uh, I know this group has promised to spread the word, and that's what we're going to do as best we can.
Good. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate you being here, John. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Mike, have you got a minute? Sure. You got to hold it fairly close so they make sure they pick no it up. Worries. Introduce yourself, Mike. Hi, I'm Mike. Uh, I've been waiting for this course probably for three or four years. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I signed up before COVID. It was back in 2019. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And it kept getting postponed because of COVID, and I was finally able to make it here. I was looking for something to do in retirement. I'm a surgeon. I've been working for 45 years, and the idea was to do something in retirement. I've been planning something like this for probably 20 years but I spent most of the time working. As it turns out, retirement isn't in, the, uh, isn't in the cards right now. I just got a new job, but I decided to do this anyway. I've been having a really, really good time. The, the instruction is great. The food, I'll probably gain weight for the first time in 20 years. <laughs> so, but they do a wonderful job. The instruction is great, and it's really, really nice to be able to hear some of the stories of some of the veterans. I was never in the military, but it was my dad's life. He flew 67 combat missions in Korea, and uh, he was a Marine till the end. So it's been very, very nice to associate with all these wonderful vets. I didn't know that. Anyone you want to say hello to? I'd like to say hello to my wife, Betty, my two grandkids, uh, Lily and Aerith, and of course my two kids, uh, Michelle and Jimmy. Thanks. And now we get to show off. What do you got? A couple of things here. This is my first dovetail ever. Never did a dovetail. So never cut a dovetail in his life. Came here and did that on the first, on the second day, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, second day. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy with that. The main thing I like about this is there's no noise and no dust and no danger and no danger. Relative. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Not, not that we can't handle. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Told the story of Frick cutting his. Cutting, did I tell you that story? Mm -mm, no. We were doing one of these lives, and Frick was trying to improve the communication because we had somebody on, and then we had a delay of three or four seconds. So he was behind the scenes running around trying to run a wire direct, and there was two zip ties holding the wire together. Looked around, he grabbed a chisel, oh, cut the first one, went to cut the second one, slipped, went into his finger, hit the bone, and slid off to the side. So he severed, severed one, one artery, uh, cut halfway through the tendon, chipped the bone, and then he proceeded to do this. And there was blood everywhere. <laughs> we were fine. We had blood splatter there for a week. Absolutely. And then he fainted. Yeah. 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 But you're not show must cut your hand on. off. <laughs> no, no, and it's a nice clean cut too. It's a sharp chisel. Absolutely. No scar. Absolutely. No scar. Well, thank you, Mike. I appreciate you coming. Absolutely. Appreciate your support. Wouldn't have missed it. Well, you almost did. Four years. Wow. Absolutely. Long wait. We're back to Spencer. Oh, howdy. Now we're going to do a little more formal. I need you to hold it fairly close. Okay. We, are, we already know who you are. You're Spencer. I am. I apologize for jumping the gun. I got you a didn't have to. Over, no, no, no need to apologize. Excited. This is a very informal setting, and I'm glad you felt comfortable enough to do it. Um, so, I kind of overheard everything everyone's been saying, and I don't want to beat a dead horse, so I won't. But I will elaborate on some things. Okay. I have eaten more food this week than I have probably in the last month straight combined before that. And it's not just been uh, the amount of food. It's been every single meal, three times a day, is not just food for us. It is a full course meal that's themed with uh, some kind of history or story behind it. And that's presented by your daughter, I believe. Correct? Annika. Yeah. Annika. And it's just been a phenomenal time. It's It's like... Dining with the family, we're not family, but it kind of feels I like that a little bit. And what I think I really appreciate the most about this so far is, and I kind of talked to you about this a little bit, is I, I would say that in the last six years, this is the first social gathering I've been to with other people. Sorry. It's all right, brother. It's all right. I'm glad we got to be the one. <laughs> it feels good. All right. It feels good to feel normal, I would say. It's really hard to try to live life and put on a mask 
and be okay all the time. <laughs> but you have so many things going on inside that make you scared to be around other people or be around your kid. And it feels really good to be able to come here and have that weight lifted off and to feel like I'm safe and I'm learning a skill that can be productive for me so I can focus those thoughts and that energy into something that I can do to, one, distract myself, but also be productive <laughs> and also enjoy it. I've been here every day from 7 a.m. till I get kicked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I want to say thank you for that. You're welcome. It means a lot. I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't uh, ask for a better gift right now. This is really what it is. It's a gift. Well, we're going to send you home with Luther. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be lucky, baby. You can keep him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, sorry, I didn't mean to have right. that happen. Sorry. Right. And uh, the food's been great. Uh, I think it's really phenomenal what you put together here. I know that you talked about the, the evolution of this whole project and having to travel and take all the gear with you so now you've been able to morph it into you have sleeping quarters here you have the workshop here all the tools I, I i hope that i can give back and help this whole thing grow because i think it's very important so do we do. so do we hopefully uh, jesse we got him don't worry anybody else want to say hello to um, Did you? I, I know, Liz, you're not watching, but you may watch this when I get back. I'll probably show you. But <laughs> I, I appreciate you doing what you, you could do for me so I could be here. So thank you for that. I love you. Thanks for being here, Spence. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey. Hello, Rob. How are you? Everyone watching? I've watched so many of these from home now. <laughs> now you got to be in one. <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> Especially in the weeks, you know, coming up to this, in the months coming up to this, I'd watch the Thursday night and I'd be like, next month that's going to be me. <laughs> Very exciting. Hey, I got to see your But I found, uh, I found we'll, Rob's we'll back. YouTubes uh, during uh, COVID and about a year and a half ago for Christmas, I bought myself the dovetail saw and some chisels and all the stuff I needed. And I've just been slowly kind of practicing a dovetail here, a dovetail there over the last year and a half. And so uh, it's so nice to, to come here. <laughs> that's the saw you bought? <laughs> Uh, it is, uh, wow. um, yes, and uh, so it's uh, it's just been great. And then, you know, of course, when you're watching, you know, you do the best you can with the YouTube videos. They're very instructional, but if you make a little mistake here or there, there's not someone to ask. And here, boy, um, I've made a big improvement in the consistency. I'm I've just gotten to the point where the dovetails come out really consistently now, it, consistently acceptable, and uh, it's it's been great. So the um, in terms of the instruction and the, the way that you and Luther go around and if somebody needs a little more help, they get a little more help. If somebody's a little bit ahead, they get a little extra something to keep them busy and it's just, you, you kind of tailor it to everybody's skill level. It's really wonderfully done. And uh, I thank you for that. And uh, of course, everyone's already said it, but the, ho <laughs> the hospitality uh, is incredible. Uh, Rob, his family, and everyone that works here, uh, just so welcoming. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's a great environment. Thank Good you. Good food. Yeah, the food is wonderful, and I'm, I'm have every bit of self control I have here to not overdo it, <laughs> and uh, it's not really working, but that's okay. Show us what you're most proud of. Uh, maybe uh, this one. All right, come in close. So how many how many have you done prior? A bit of well, experience. Yeah, probably close to a hundred of these little okay. corners at home. So he's been watching. He's been watching and learning off of there, but that's really remarkable. This is my first ah, first uh, half blind I've ever done. I said John was the most proficient. You might be a He's competitor. Right yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just a machine. I'm gonna have to charge you for extra wood. <laughs> now he's working on a little small box. We gotta stay ahead of these guys. Uh, one more question, and that is speak to the uh, the audience that we rely on, meaning the uh, civilian students that come to help. Yeah, so and, not, and, and how important it is, not just because we need their money, it's the camaraderie that yeah, happens. Yeah, uh, hearing the stories, it's really incredible. Um, it's just a great environment, uh, a terrific experience. Um, you know, I've <coughs> made uh, uh, donations over the years, small, small ones, but I try to make those donations and seeing 
<clears throat> I'm getting choked up just hearing right. hearing right. the stories, you know, remembering the stories. But um, you know, seeing where that money's going and who it's helping, and I couldn't be happier <laughs> with that. Thank you for what you do. Pleasure. Thanks for being here. Thank you. We got to go back over here to Spencer. I forgot to say. I got forgot to look at his dovetail. Oh, you got to do it again, Spencer. <laughs> yeah. Didn't do it enough. You got to do it some more. Which which is which is your best? Uh, well, I've got two. So no experience two days ago, having never used any of these tools or knowing what the heck they even are, or that they existed. This was my first one, which had some mistakes on it. Uh, but they were from Luther told you to do the wrong thing, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, it was Luther messed me up yeah. for sure. And this was my second one which had virtually no mistakes on it. Small error That must there. be the one I helped you with. Um, with Luther's fault again, actually. <laughs> but this is my best one so far, but this one I'm working on now is going to be better than both by a long shot. And when then I'll do my, my half blind. On your, shoe, on your bench hook? Yes. All right, good. Thank you. A little mad over here, just kind of sitting there quietly working away. I mean, talk to us, Matt. Sure, why not? You just have to hold it fairly close so they make sure they hear you. I don't, yeah. I don't want that to be in water. Uh, Matt Catanese, I'm comfortable sitting down. Huh? Um, yeah, that's all right. Just retired on the 28th of June. Um, just after, retired? On, uh, 28th of June? June 28th after 24 and a half years. That is uh, fresh. Civil Engineer Corps officer uh, and then started off as a Navy CB. So. And who told, how'd you find out about this program? Uh, Jeffrey O'Connor had a post months and months ago, uh, O'Connor Woodworking, and he uh, just said, he mentioned the program, so I looked into it, asked him some questions about it, and uh, thank God I got, I, this is incredible. I mean, I thought I knew woodworking until I came here, and I'm, I, I, I love doing the hand tool stuff. It, it, it's time consuming. And just getting out, trying to find my way, which one, what I want to do and everything else, this is a good distractor to just kind of uh, do something not destructive and actually productive that's soothing as well. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm giving my wife another reason for me to um, escape out into the garage even more. So this is going to have its cons as well as its pros Yeah. because I'm going to spend a lot more time out there now. But, um, yeah, it's been phenomenal. Well, do you remember the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles? I sure do. Remember John Candy played the role of Del Griffith, the shower ring, ring curtain yeah. salesman? And his best advice given was, love your wife, like your work. Okay. So there, if you do that, you'd be okay. Well, I like this stuff, and I definitely love my wife and my daughter, so yeah, that's a fact. Did you say hi to them? Hey, guys, how you doing? A couple more days, I'll be home, and then you'll be asking me where I'm going on my next trip probably, but I'll try and book more, I guess. Uh, what have you got that you want to show off? Nothing really. Uh, I'm still a work in progress. I've got some... You got a good one? Uh, not, no. No, not at all. That's my half blind. And that's my, that's my best blind. I've never done best this through, before. Not blind, through dovetail. Yeah, through dovetail. Never, have never done it before? Well, with a jig and a router, but... But never by hand. Never by hand. You're getting there. Yeah, slowly but surely. You're getting there. And you haven't given up? That's no, the best no, part. I never will. Um, did you, oh, you did address other wounded vets, right? Uh, no, I, um, I, just in my community alone in the Naval Construction Force, there are many, many, many guys out there wounded that I know for a fact that are dealing with, with issues, you know, post 9-11 uh, service in the Middle East. Uh, th this would be right up their alley, uh, carpenters, plumbers, heaters, air conditioning guys, and, you know, CBs are construction workers, so there are numerous guys out there that I can reach out to. It's important. It's good. Um, devil has work for idle hands, and this will keep those idle hands busy and productive as well, and it's, it's actually pretty comforting to do, so it's worth coming and doing it. Yep, I agree. 100%. Food was good. You mentioned that. Yeah, the food's very good. I'm going to be about 40 pounds heavier going back into Virginia 40. Beach. I was just <laughs> starting to get my beach bod back. where it needed to be, and it's gone now, so... You should have come to a winter class. Oh, man. <laughs> well, thank you, Matt. I appreciate yeah, you being thank here. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate everything you've done. All right. Blake. How's it going? Blake, tell them who you are. Hey, I'm uh, Blake, uh, civilian, 
air traffic controller in uh, Missouri, and I found Rob's videos a couple years ago and always thought about uh, doing this class. Um, as a civilian, it's been eye-opening to see some of these guys' stories and some of the things that they've been through in their lives, and it's pretty amazing to see this program Rob's put together um, to help these guys find a positive outlet for a lot of their uh, thoughts and things that the ex-military guys go through. Um, for, and it's just, uh, from a hand tool perspective of just learning a skill, it's been really good to get all this knowledge in such a short period of time. Um, so if you are a civilian thinking about the class, it's probably the most skills you can learn in a week um, offered anywhere in the, uh, probably in the world at this point. Um, so I've had a really good time, and it's definitely been worth uh, everything. Anybody want to say hi to? Uh, I'd like to say my, hi to my girlfriend Taylor, and then my parents and my sister, who made the road trip with up here. With oh me. yeah, that's right. So. Met her on Sunday night. Yeah. So. She's supposed to come dinner tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. I, she's still out and about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you got to show off? Oh, what not are you proud much. of? Well, let's see. So this is my third dovetail. You overall. never cut any before you came. I right? cut one you following your video. Yeah. Uh, it, it barely went together. And the second one, I mixed up the kerf so it didn't go together, and that was the third one. This was the third but, one. Yeah, but the ones on this next project are looking really good. So. All right. We should. Well, should be good they won't be here to see, but I will. Yeah. But. All right. Um, you want to address other people like yourself who need to be here. In terms of <coughs> supporting our program, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of support <coughs> from the civilian community is huge. Um, just even five or ten dollars really goes a long ways. I mean, uh, Rob and the organization give these guys a lot of resources um, and tools to help them uh, through what they're going through, and every little bit helps. Yeah, it does. It does indeed. All right. Well, thank you. Yep. Keep those planes landing safely. I will. Please. Is there anybody I didn't get to speak to that would, I, that would like to speak to me? I'd like to tell my wife now. Oh. Uh, here. Hold on, Nate. Can't hear you. Yeah. Farrell, I just wanted to let you know I bought some extra tools. I'd rather say it here a couple of days before getting home <laughs> than you just seeing them and asking me where they came from. That might be a cue for the rest of you. <laughs> just saying, it happened. Devin, can I talk to you? So this is Devin. He came to our class in 2017. Yeah, April. Yeah. April. And we make it a habit to bring a vet from a previous class with, into each class to be my assistant. And Devin's been here as my assistant. I'm gonna, he didn't get a chance to do this when, we, when he was in the class, so I'm going to have him. He's one of the combat wounded vets, so just take it away. Tell him what you think. Oh, it's, it, it's been amazing. It's been a great opportunity to even come back and, uh, and help out the best I can. I'm not uh, up to these guys' level. <laughs> Definitely not Rob's, not Luther's. Don't tell yourself it. short. I've seen your work. <laughs> but it, uh, it's, it's nice to be able to give back and encourage the guys that are just starting that it does, it does help in the long term. Um, it's, a good, it's a good tool in your toolbox. It's a... <laughs> And uh, and it does it does build networks. You get out of your own head a little bit, and and you're able to to find fellow vets. A lot of old guys that are <laughs> or, or vets that uh, that like to do woodworking, and um, we do have a good community there. Uh, yeah, it's it's good. I'm not getting into too much details about stuff, but hide anybody at home. Uh, it's wife and kids, <laughs> Ellie, Scarlett, Natalie, and Heidi are my kids. So, and then Ellie's the wife. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's 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 been great. Uh, you always forget things that you learned in 2017 <laughs> and to, to now that uh, you thought you remembered. But coming back, there's a lot of skills that even I learned this week, at, and I was supposed to be helping. <laughs> yeah. So. so. How is the difference in the food between 2017 and 2023? Well, I mean, I don't want to knock the the restaurants that put us up in 2017, yeah, which are also job. great. But this is this is phenomenal. There's a lot of food. It's all all homemade, yeah, cooked right here. Yeah, it's, yep. it's very very good. It was awesome. Yes, healthy.
Thank you, Devin. I appreciate you coming here and helping. It's been wonderful. All right, we've got some stuff to do. Yeah, yeah. I want to say a big shout out to Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. They are uh, um, anonymous supporters of what we do. He was there in the very beginning and helped me. And, uh, and he provided uh, all the, all, well, he and, and Paul up in Ontario provided the funding for the giveaway that we gave on Saturday. We gave out $3,000 worth of prizes. Now, I've got, I've got two really nice prizes to give away, but I think I'm going to do it on our next, on our next Saturday live. Really nice shooting board, uh, cut, cutting board uh, by one of the vets who's in our last class and uh, a charcuterie board by one of the vets, well, in our, uh, oh, our class back in 2017, Jesse. And Dave Demir was the one that made the other big sh cutting board. But I'll make a big deal about that when we can have it a little more quiet, controlled setting. Anyway, before we uh, have Moose adorn everyone in a warm dead cat, which they probably don't want to wear at night because it's hot out. I want to read through some information from the Bench Brigade. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. A little over three years ago, I woke up one day and I thought, oh crap. We bring these guys in, we teach them, we give them tools, and they go home. But you know what? Your number one tool in hand tool woodworking is a bench. And if you don't have a bench, this is pretty tough to do in the end of a table saw. So I started making some calls to previous vets, and sure enough, a lot of them had never touched their tools because they didn't have a bench. And I knew, I, I knew we were tapped out. I couldn't take that task on. Uh, do you have any idea how Jack got a hold of me? Uh, he listened to you explain on the live that you were look, looking for Oh, okay. So Jack Lane reached out to me from Texas. Jack's retired Air Force. And said, Rob... Please let me do this. I said, Jack, please do it. So Jack took it upon himself. Initially, I think we wanted 30, 36 volunteers, all we needed. And uh, that's grown to be well over 300. Still need more, though. Still need more. Yeah, we try to cut. Well, we've. we've all over the place. The business, our, our program has expanded such. We've had uh, how many countries? Uh, about. Five countries so far, uh, as far as delivering benches, no. we volunteers. And Vets from Ireland, yeah, so from Sweden, don't count. Denmark, Denmark, yeah, don't Austria. Uh, England, Australia, Ireland, uh, U.S. Denmark, and Canada. And civilians from a lot more. Oh, you, you didn't. You need to have that. No, I was so from. All right. A lot of, lot of countries. Yeah, a lot of countries have lots of volunteers. We've delivered over 100 benches, well over 100 benches. So what I'm gonna read you is who's building the benches for these guys. And when I, when I uh, I'm gonna get them to raise their hand. Actually, you, you wanna stand behind me. Or, and, uh, so Royce down there, Royce, wave, wave. There he is. What's the uh, O-C-K? Okay. <laughs> Pronounced? Ock. Okay. So, both benches built by Bobby Griffin, owner of the Da Vinci Woodworking in Bourne, Bernie, Bernie, Texas. Oh, oh sorry me. Sorry, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I don't read well. So, Spencer, behind me, and Royce, both of these guys are having benches built by Bobby Griffith, so that's a pretty big deal, Bobby. He owns Da Vinci Woodworking in Bernie, Texas. And he's been sponsored by Dakota Hardwoods <coughs> in San Antonio, and that's Doug Rice, manager, he also a Vietnam vet. And this is his fourth and fifth bench that he has sponsored. So he provided, he sponsored the benches that were uh, delivered to Jeremy Bre Brees, Tiffany Skelton, Skelton, who was one of our female vets, we've only had four, and Jesse Millar, and Jesse Millar is the reason why Spencer's here. Now Mark 
and Matthew, so Matt, raise your hand, Matt. Matt and Mark over here. Where, he's not here, but he's, oh, Mark is gone. Okay. Mark and Matt, their benches are being built by Tidewater Woodworkers Guild in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Chris Z Christian, who is a retired major in the, um, in the Marine Corps, is leading the project. Ed and Kelly Sontag, owners of the Richmond Norfolk Wood Woodcraft Stores, are sponsoring the projects. And Woodcraft is, you've been a, Woodcraft's another sponsor that's, the Woodcraft organization has been behind me on this 100% from day one. Uh, so a big shout out to them. David Lewis, Dave, is, uh, his is being built by the Nashville Woodcraft Store employees. They're building that store and the store is sponsoring the project. And that, the Nashville, Nashville sales manager, Narissa Dixon, is the lead on that. And I've taught in the Nashville store numerous times, and that family is uh, are good friends of mine, great people. John, where are you, John? Right in front of me. John's builder is Mark Cornig... Mark Cornig... Ah, under pressure. Come on, boys, help me. Corniglio. Corniglio? 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 In Vancouver, Washington. I lived in Vancouver, Washington for six months, way back in 1980, 1981. So thank you, Mark. That's wonderful. And John will love his bench. Also, Richard Gilson from the April 23rd class. His builder is Will, Will Sager from Hendersonville, North Carolina. And Devin Wright, Devin, who never did get a bench, we didn't start this until sure three years ago. Oh, yeah? So I did reach out to you. Good. His builder is Rob Kutner from San Francisco. So that's fantastic the way these guys are being taken care of. You people, you people need a huge pat on the back, but I know why you do it, because that's why I do this. So your reward is in doing it. Thank you. Um, big shout out to Angie, I know she's watching, Angie and Lynn, and big shout out to Anita who's got my cold and not feeling well, so I hope you're better. Sorry for giving it to you, didn't mean to be generous. This young man, I'm going to hand him the microphone so I can take a break. He loves the microphone. You going to give me a cold too? No. How come <laughs> I don't get a cold? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want it, you'll get it. Anyway, every, every workshop... I try to get up here and uh, uh, give a little um, bit of appreciation for what these people do and have done. And uh, we donate every time to all the combat wounded veterans a free dead cat sweater. So here goes. Can you do that with, you want me to hold that? Yeah, my lovely assistant, Vanna Cosman. Eat your heart out, Vanna. Spencer, you're number one. <laughs> more times than once. <laughs> there you go, brother. Thank you for oh, your wow. That's amazing. For your service. Thank you. Thank you so much. Matthew. How do you know, how do you know all these sizes? <laughs> I have an inside uh, uh, reconnaissance uh, with Gina. <laughs> yeah, she knows, she knows more than you would like. <laughs> Is Matthew here? He's, yep. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait a minute. No. Yeah, there he's sitting down. Yeah. Come get your cat, Matt. Thank you so much. It's a Matt cat. Thank you very much for your service. Thank you, sir. I appreciate there you that go. very much. You're wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that helps. Where else? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys want to get rid of that weight you ate? Yeah. And the pole. That'll do it. Royce. Is Royce here? Oh. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think you probably had to put two dead cats together to make one for him. Did you? What's that? Did you have to put two dead cats together yeah. to get one That's for it. him? Yeah, we had to slam them hard to get them together. John, get over here. Thank you, sir, for uh, a garment. My, my wife is 99% sure that we'll get stolen. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to die a hero. Mark. Mark. Mark's the guy that left. Mark left. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, right. Mark got my cold, too. Yeah. Yeah. And it keeps on giving. Last but not least, because it's double X, Dave. Double cat. He's got a double X train, that's for sure. Thank you very much. Oh, that's the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> Nopper, the chopper. Here they come. Is that All it? Right. Yep, we're done. All right, thank you, Moose. Well, I'm sure Mark will pick his up tomorrow. Yes, he will. So, I should introduce you to uh, grab her and, and make her smile. Michael. So, this is our, uh, this is our new shop dog. Rex, my son, is holding her. This is Maple. She is a mini golden, mini mini golden, golden doodle. doodle. She's, taken, she's taken over from Maggie. Maggie uh, moved to Calgary with my daughters, Kenzie and Loren. And Maple's in training. She has a little ways to go. She's just a pup. How old, how old is Six she? Six months. Six months? Seven months. Seven months? Seven months. That's Maggie. That's Maple, sorry. Sorry, Maple. Meg. All right, Frick, is there any, anything, any comments that I need to address? No? Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll, we're a little bit out of sorts. We'll take care of this in our next live, which is, when's our next live? Two weeks. Two weeks from Saturday? Uh, we'll announce it. We'll announce it. It'll be soon. Anyway, uh, certainly appreciate you folks tuning in and supporting us. I hope this has been, I hope you enjoyed this, getting a chance to speak to these people. It's awesome to be a part of this. It's absolutely incredible. We look forward to it. The people that work these long hours do it for a reason, and the reason is not their pay. The reason is to be able to be a part of this and to give back to these guys. It's just a wonderful feeling. And uh, the craftsmanship that comes out of here is fantastic. And... Um, you know, what, what, uh, what better way to help these guys make it through life and get some joy out of life than to give them a little bit of training in woodwork. Wood is good. We done? All right. Ready to sign off. Thanks for being here. We'll see you again shortly. Remember, if you know any combat wounded veterans, send them our way. We're happy to uh, uh, entertain the possibility of bringing them here. We do this six times a year. One class each month starting in April, ending in October. See you soon.